There's the time. My alarm. Woke up just before the alarm. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put on my camo today. <laughs> I'm just going grouse hunting. It's not really necessary, but I'm going to teach him about blacktail hunting. He's going to bring his rifle. That's what he's going to do. Um, I doubt he's going to get anything. It's way early in the season for that kind of thing, but it's an opportunity to share some of my skills and stuff with him. And maybe I can do some of that with you guys while I'm up there and just kind of talk about it. And for me, the day is just going to be kind of like a wander through the woods. And if I see a grouse, which is basically a small chicken kind of thing, that's what it looks like, then I'll try to get one of those. Camoed up. I'm going to... In BC, you don't need to wear hunter orange. You can just wear camo here. But uh, the hat I'm, I've got is this one which is, uh, I haven't wore this in a while. I actually bought this thinking I would save it for hunting. There you go, wear that. And I have a hat that's made out of this material too, I think, somewhere. But uh, I'll just do that. That'll be my attire. over the drive a little bit. Beauty. Ryan's just using a bathroom, taking a dump or whatever. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just sharing with him about deer hunting, blacktail hunting out here. Um, as I said, I'm just, you know, just teaching him just what I know. Um, and I brought my shotgun, so if there's a grouse, I'll try to get that. But I'm not deer hunting uh, myself. Uh, he is. Anyway, um, these trees up here in the background, they're a little bit more stunted, and they got that old man's beard growing on it eusnea or whatever it's called i forget the scientific name for it i'll do a close-up of it a little bit later but you can see some of these trees in here so they're they're not as green they're not as prolific some of them are a lot of these are actually pine trees whereas those kind of trees over there are much more dense and big and the forest bottom is more dense and big so pointing out how that looks different than this on a satellite image and you can review maps and see this different from that on a satellite and i'm saying like this is where you need to spend your time hunting blacktails because they're going to eat that stuff that's the old man's beard through the winter and this type of terrain is where they're going to be I'm catching my breath here hang on I'm so out of shape cardiovascular wise. I can hold my breath and dive down, but I'm like, I need to work on the hiking side of things. A bit more, just get my heart rate up a bit better. Anyway, that's good deer habitat in there for mountain blacktail deer. Otherwise, we're just kind of scouting the ground, looking for tracks, see if we can pick up any sign. And uh, yeah, if you're out hunting for blacktail, my advice is go look for sign first and if you're not seeing it keep looking for sign and then once you find sign keep looking for sign um, you'll eventually start recognizing what a lot of sign is and those are the spots you want to focus on and the rest of it just don't spend your time there because um, your odds are not as in your favor Ryan's coming back so we're gonna carry on um, we're just gonna 
walk this road, look for sign, probably walk back and then go check out another spot and we'll just kind of keep doing that all day. When walking a road in a forested mountain area like we are, you inevitably expose yourself and may make your presence known to the wildlife in the area. Similarly, you'll often find glassing opportunities along the way. In this case, we're checking out some mossy bluffs in the distance before proceeding, and we'll recheck those same bluffs several times more as we continue our walk. This strategy may alert you to the presence of wildlife in those more distant locations relative to your own. From there, you can adjust your actions to suit the situation. This was all forested in a while ago. Seeing it like this, I mean, I knew it. it. It was just a matter of time before they went in there and harvested these trees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this would be an interesting spot um, to see what, how this changes the deer in these areas. There's a couple targets way back up there. So I'll put up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for retrieving. Yeah. <laughs> like your doggy. You missed the action. <laughs> there we go. There you go, man. Check into the woods. Nice, sweet. Yeah, you could step on the wings and pull the legs and it, it cleans it really well. Okay. Um, for now, we'll just, I don't know, maybe carry it as is. Clip it onto your hat. Yeah, it's my, it's my, it's my Camel. trophy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank dude. you. Yeah. Pack it in, pack it out. Right. Yeah, you could use your binos a bit here and just sort of see. You might see something roaming around down there, but. So I feel like in my head, I always have this idea that once you get into the, the, the daytime, you know, like, and she start really moving around. No. Mm. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's the case, but, yeah. I hear a bear. Yeah. <laughs> Grizzly country, man. Wrong with second of this. Move my dummy. <laughs> My spirit animal. This area here is a little far from our location, but it was still fun to glass it up. We were checking out some hunters that were over in that area and more or less just ruled out everything else in between. Yeah, it's like, it's washed out. Hard to say what it is, but probably a deer. Yeah, it's deer. Yeah. Yeah, keep 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 your eyes peeled as you walk around. Or just coming up into some spots where there's, you know, more exposed old cup lock kind of thing. You just kinda of look through here, see if you see anything, that kind of thing. <laughs> He's eating the fireweed seed pods. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna wander down this way. Ron's gonna go up. Narrating for the audience. <laughs> I'll catch up with him later.
have a feeling. We might see some deer, we'll see. Just split up and yeah, his rifle's pretty quiet. Hey, oh, is it grouse? Okay, okay. <laughs> he took a shot at a grouse. So yeah, the road pretty much petered out right there, and instead of walking up it a third time, I decided to push through this steep section and rejoin with the road that way. It also gave me a chance to lay eyes on the ground and see what kind of sign was in the area. While it is still possible to see a deer in this area, and being more quiet may pay off. It's still uncertain to me that this is a spot they like to hang out in, and so it goes back to the intention of scouting the area for sign. This is the point where I layered down and cleaned up the bird. While I don't show the process in this video, I will include a link to a video in the description that taught me a new and very efficient way of doing so. Okay. I'm not sure where Ryan is. I think he's up that way. But my thinking is, as far as deer go, um, there's a set of tracks back that way, but below, down there, and down on that side of the, this timber, it's a small patch of it, there's more tracks down there, and there's, there's trails down through, like up through it a little bit. I'm thinking that they're going to hang out right in that real small sliver, super steep, really noisy to get in well protected and uh, they probably just bed up in here and they can hear anything that's coming this way they can see stuff below them um, you know not super far but I think that's a pretty sheltered area for them to hang out just given where the sign is so Ryan if you're watching this that's where I think they would be bedded up it could also be like up in here, but I think it's less likely just given that there's a road here and a road behind it. Even down, down in that timber right there, it's gonna be really steep and nasty and that's where they're gonna be. Huh. Ryan's gonna go in and I'm gonna hit the road. So it was just education. He's gonna go down into that and meet me down below. And we'll go up through this top area. Ryan just ran into a couple does bedded down and a bit of this further down. And he said they were coming up towards me and I heard them stop up in this area. He put 
pushed a couple deer, but um, I haven't seen them. I see him now. <laughs> I was hoping we would see the deer come up this way and we'd get to get to see them. But who knows where they went to? Well, that's cool. You saw a couple deer? Yeah. Nice. Both those. Can you get a picture of them? Yeah, I got a video. Oh, um, nice. That was a good learning experience. Yeah. Because one, good instincts that. Yeah. Two, like, where they popped up, they were like, it was like 40 yards from me. And I would have thought like even, I was trying to be quiet, but I would have thought that they would have taken off like long before I came in just because of like the noise oh, the I was noise. making. Yeah. Um, but I don't think they, they definitely didn't see me. Like they walked away. Okay. Didn't run. Huh. But yeah, these two, uh, All right, there's one. There's the other one. Oh yeah, I see him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're checking you out. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So they must have gone up and then come down to the road, I'm guessing, if you didn't see them. Yeah, I didn't see them. <laughs> there's a pretty good deer bed right here in the middle of the cup block. a trail there's like moss here moss here there's a deer track so it kind of goes that way then it goes here and there's moss that's turned over right there kind of breaks up in this area the sapling here you can see how the bark's peeled off right there it's an old rub but it basically tells you that a buck was through here at one point in time And my other camera battery died, so I'm back to this one. <laughs> I was enjoying the other one, but uh, I didn't bring a charger for it. At this point, we were on the road again, and there's this grouse up here on the left-hand side of the road. I was like, Ryan, pull over. There's a grouse up here. He's like, where? And I'm like, right up there. He didn't see it right away until I was walking up to it here. Anyway, when I shoulder the shotgun, this little bird comes out. I didn't see it. The bird's fine but you know, it's just kind of like in the line of fire, so to speak. But I got another chicken, so there you go. Yeah, that's pretty. Body of water. Eventually we made our way to this spot where we finished up our day. It was kind of fun to peer through the binoculars at all those distant cut blocks and even up into the alpine across the valley. This kind of thing is less practice for blacktail deer hunting and is not always practical, but it can sometimes reveal the whereabouts of some animals off in the distance. In this case, we didn't see anything out there, but it was nice to soak in the scenery and wind down the day. Alright, so yeah. Smashing out the breasts. I'm just, uh, you know, that's how it is. I'm making schnitzel. So, just kind of pound them flat like that, and then uh, I'm gonna pankle them up and fry them in some coconut oil. And then I'm gonna have it with some barbecue sauce. And I think I got some veggies to go with it. Yeah. I love you too, honey. <laughs> All right, that was that was pretty cute. Um, this is just about done. I'm just um, heating up the broccoli again, and the schnitzel is all set and ready to go. I kind of wish I was having this up on the mountain still, actually. It was a much more pretty setting up there, and I should have brought my cooking stuff up there with me, but. Anyway, start with a little nugget. Mm. Much 
pretty good treat. In the springtime, when you walk out in the forest and the mountains here, you can hear them hooting and they sound like a... And they're everywhere. But, I don't know, sometimes a little bit tricky to find them in the fall. Usually I see them on the roads because they're out there picking up little tiny rocks and they're putting that in their gizzard to help crunch and digest the food that they eat. It's this weird, weird little thing that they do. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I think there's more meat in a fish than a grouse, but um, that was a pretty good little trip up in the mountains with Ryan. And I'm really glad that he saw some deer because uh, I think that just really sort of solidified the whole experience for him and it made the whole experience for me a lot better too. So it was, it was quite nice. Mm. And that's good broccoli. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's it guys. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna eat the rest of this and watch a show. I'm really tired. So we'll catch you in the next one. And uh, I don't know, I, I was gonna say like, what's next, but I don't know what's next, so. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See you later, guys. It's not like a, a hunting forest video without a little forest trash. A little, uh, Place there to do your yoga and meditation. So that looks, that's what a bedding area looks like. Yeah, that's a deer bed. <laughs> 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 and uh, this here is a uh, uh, just a little hangout, the living room. It almost looks like a rave party happened back here at some point. CBD oil, <laughs> and vape, whatever it is. Huh. This is terrible, man. Yeah, totally. This is, I wasn't here before.